So next discount family, crazy hyperbolic. And I warn you today, you have to pull up your sleeves because a lot of theory, but you know, we do it and it's good to have it done. Crazy hyperbolic is the most popular discount function. So let us look at it. Let me repeat, I said it several times before, constant discounting is violated most if the present is evolved. People have this special like for the present, you know, then I can already feel the taste of the cake, whatever it is. So uh, several times I use it, the, the term present effect or immediacy bias for this phenomenon, like the little girl there, the cake, she can already smell it. So she just wants it. That is uh, much overweighted relative to the rest in the future. So then the idea of this crazy hyperbolic uh, discounting is that that is the main strongest phenomenon that has captured that and maybe nothing else. We have the most important thing, but other than that, we keep things as simple as possible. So that's what they try to do. Only capture the presence effect and nothing else. That's the crazy hyperbolic discount model. It is also called the beta delta model. And it was introduced by these people, popularized by Leibson. Now let me tell you the formula. So we start as always the discounted weight of the present T is zero, that is one. And that is delta to the power T for T to the power zero. So nothing happening yet. But everything, every time point bigger than the present, every future time point has the delta to the power T as with constant discounting, but it has an extra beta. It's extra punished by a number beta that's between zero and one. It's pushed down. So all the future is extra handicapped. That's the idea of this constant discounting. That means that if the present is not involved in the present effect, then all the time points are hit by the same beta and it drops from the equations and in fact, nothing is happening. Whenever the present is not involved, this is just constant discounting. So nice and easy uh, as we know it, only if the present is involved, then the present gets sort of privileged relative to all the others. That's the idea of this model. And uh, well, the formula is very simple, you know, just one beta and only the present, very simple, but capturing the main thing. So nice to live with. And that's why it's the most popular model today. Some uh, uh, two graphs to illustrate. And here's again, the constant discount function. And again, I'm going to the other function, I'm going to discount, sorry, I'm going to normalize in such a way that at time point T is one, they have the same impatience. Then you see for this, this quasi hyperbolic, you see from the present, any time point uh, later than the present is immediately punished a lot. Big jump here is very strongly, infinitely strongly decreasing here. Immediately goes down to 0.75. But then after that, it is like, con this is in fact constant discounting everything after. And it intersects here. So it's here a bit less and here a bit more than the, one, the green one that I drew. But in fact, we everywhere in the future have constant discounting. Only when the presence is involved, the presence is much more discounting than everywhere else, much more impatience than everywhere else. Therefore, you, know, they, you can say decreasing impatience, but only from the present to the future. And every in the future, the impatience is constant. So very simple, very tractable, capturing the main thing. Some calculations to show it goes, although by now you've seen many of these calculations, you know how it goes, but let me still show you how one more time. Square root utility, Delta, reasonable uh, number, empirically speaking, per month, you know, but beta 0.75, which indeed psychologically we find betas of this kind. The two, the standard example, the two preference 48 months, that's four years. We've seen it before. We do the calculations. The discounted utility of so the first 100 is 10, and the preference value is, of course, 100. We saw it. Nothing happening there. But the second one, if we do the discounted value, we see the, the formula here, but here, the discount weight is already 0.74. So that means only four months and already when more than three quarter it is discounted. And that's of course due to that bet of 0.75. And a little bit, because it's four months, one, one percentage more. But because of this strong presence effect, we get this. And then the present value, which is uh, the relevant, most informative value, 56. So waiting four months for 105 means it almost it's defined by almost two very much. So it also comes in a bit. Anyway, strong presence effect here. Now for the other two, there's also the presence effect is also impacting them and it is strong, but not much else is happening. 
So for this one, for four years, for eight months, here the discounted weight is quite low due to the presence effect, but after that it didn't decrease very much. So then the present value is 34. The last one is quite similar, and the present value turns out to be 35. Well, here you, you see the weights, of course, both of them are quite low because the present effect is there, but other than that, not much was happening. And it means also that these two are quite similar. Between these two, there's almost no more impatience. That's why here, the lower preference, the person is quite patient, willing to go for the large amount of money. This person says four years or four years and four months doesn't matter. That's also what many use of you said in the experiment when I talk with you about it. So in that sense, this model is again realistic. It captures what goes on. Because here, the present effect is constant. It doesn't do much. This is the usual preference. But here we have the special effect, the present uh, dated outcome, this dated outcome at present is benefited. That's why here we have the switch of preference and why this is preferred. This explains the violation of uh, stationarity. Okay. So this model is very pragmatic and practical. It's comparable, much like the neo additive utility model for decision under risk. That was also capturing the main effect, certainty effect, and then also the possibility effect. I didn't explain it, but Similarly in spirit, the main effect, uh, simple, linear, nothing else, easy to work with, people like it a lot. For gear, for uh, the temperature choice, crazy hyperbolic is most popular, as I already said. Now, next family coming, but that will be, is be to be continued later. <laughs>